this is ashutosh your host and i welcome you all in this new session of bwe class basic electrical engineering class so guys today we are going to solve some problems related to nodal analysis or node voltage method so let's see uh, how the nodal analysis is solved okay the problems in nodal analysis uh, are solved so see first of all guys you can see over here in electric circuits analysis or nodal analysis or node voltage analysis the branch current method is a method of determining the voltage potential difference between the nodes or the points where elements or branches connect in an electrical circuit in terms of the branch currents so nodal analysis is possible when all the circuit elements branch constitute constitutive relations have an admittance representation and kirchhoff's current law is used to develop the method referred to as nodal analysis so guys in the next slide we will see the steps these are the procedure or these are the steps so how to solve nodal analysis so guys first of all follow these steps while solving any electrical network or electrical circuit using nodal analysis so guys first step what is the first step the circuit will be there will be first step identify the principal nodes and choose one of them as a reference node okay and we will treat that reference node as the ground and that reference node will be grounded and the second step see here label the node voltages with respect to ground from all the principal nodes except the reference node and you can see the third step we write nodal equations at all the principal nodes except the reference node and take outgoing currents from each node this is very important point so so that uh, it will be easier for you to write the kcl equation okay so take outgoing currents from each node then step number 4 is solve the nodal equations obtained in step number 3 in order to get the node voltages so guys now uh, we will move to the next slides and we will uh, directly solve a numerical so first we will see and this is the circuit which is given so guys first of all we have to identify the different nodes in the given circuit so guys what will we do so this is the given circuit there is a current source dc current source is given at the extreme left side this is the dc circuit and this is the dc current source i1 is there and this is dc current i2 is there and between these sources resistances are connected so uh, it is already selected okay already uh, uh, called the ground node where v is equal to 0 so let's see in the second slide see here so first of all identify the number of nodes so guys this will be the number 1 node okay this is the number 1 node this this is the second node and this is the third node okay and the common node is this as you can see over here on your screen this is the common node from here to here the potential is same and this common node will be grounded like this as you can see over here so now put a voltage v1 at node 1 put another voltage v2 at second node put another voltage third voltage at node 3 and the fourth voltage v4 at common node will be grounded so that the potential will become zero and v4 becomes zero here okay as you can see over here so basically there are three unknown nodes okay these are unknown nodes v1 v2 v3 and uh, the values of v1 v2 and v3 is to be find out okay now we have to apply kcl equations 
and you can see in the next slide so this is the next slide this is the circuit the same circuit is drawn i have drawn for you the same circuit is drawn over here now guys you can also apply you can also apply kcl okay and you can uh, what you can do over here just take the node this is the node this is the first node this is the second node and this is the third node and uh, in order to solve the circuit and it will be easier for you take uh, outgoing currents from each node this is the principle okay take e outgoing currents from each node like this the current in this branch is going outward the current in this branch going outward from the node and current in this branch will going will be going like this way okay so take all the currents so you can write what i have written over here you can see at node c at node 1 take this is i1 okay this is i1 current okay and this is this is voltage v1 here voltage v1 is there so concentrate at node number 1 so guys first of all c uh, so this is the what what will be the equation of this the current in this branch i1 is coming towards the node so we have to take outgoing current so plus i1 is coming in uh, towards the node okay plus i1 is coming towards the node but we have to take outgoing current from this node so take minus i1 i1 is coming towards the node and minus i1 is going from the node so write minus i1 then voltage v1 is there in this branch the middle branch v1 by 500 write this plus v1 by 500 then again plus and now the voltage of this node v1 minus voltage of this node v2 divided by 500 so the current in this branch will be written like this v1 minus v2 by 500 is equal to 0 so guys the uh, while forming equations it will be very easier to write down the equations so we have to take all the currents outgoing currents from each of the node and likewise see at the node number second you can see this is the node number two and then all the equations starts from v2 okay the node equations will start from v2 so in this branch the left branch you can see over here the current the direction of current will be like this in this branch the middle branch the direction of current will be outward and in this branch at the right side the outward current the direction of outward current will be like this so all the equations starts from v2 so now form the equation see here left side v2 minus v1 divided by 500 okay this is first step v2 minus v1 divided by 500 plus v2 by 1000 this is the second step okay v2 by in the second branch v2 by uh, 1000 and the third step v2 minus v3 by 500 v2 the node of this voltage minus the node of another voltage v2 minus v3 divided by 500 and you must remember all the equations should start from v2 so all the voltages of another node other nodes uh, will be subtracted from this node okay like this and as you can see over here at node number three you can see over here this is the node number three so again take all the outgoing currents so v3 the equations will start from v3 so v3 minus v2 by 500 okay already there v3 minus v2 by 500 plus in this branch v3 by 500 v3 by 500 and then now see here okay current i2 in this branch the right side branch current plus i2 is coming towards the node so the outgoing current will be minus i2 so write minus i2 and then solve all the equations now you have got the three equations and now solve the equations then there will be the answer of v1 v2 v3 
okay you can also form the equations like this c node 1 okay this is the node 1 see over here on the screen at node just concentrate at node you can also solve the equation like this like uh, by applying kcl at node you get i1 the i1 current is entering towards the node and two currents are leaving from this node so this equation can also be formed like i1 is equal to current in this branch plus current in this branch and so you can write the equation the incoming current is i1 should be equal to two outgoing currents in two branch so you can also write and this will become the same equation what you earlier saw okay minus i1 so uh, this uh, question can also be solved in this fashion you can see over here and in the second branch okay this is uh, the solution this is also solve this equation by taking outgoing currents in the second branch in the second node and in the third node you can see right like this the uh, the incoming current i2 is inward towards the node it is coming towards the node and two currents are outgoing currents and these are coming out from the node okay these are going uh, these are the outgoing currents from this node. So you can also uh, write the equation I2 is equal to V3 minus V2 by 500 plus V3 by 500. Okay, so you can also solve this numerical by using this tactics. So guys, and you can find out the uh, answer by solving all the three equations. And now we will see the nodal analysis case 2. What happens guys? In this type of circuit, the circuit is given over here. You can see on the screen, there will be a voltage source between two nodes. So if there will be a voltage between two nodes, how can we write, the, write down the equations of the node? So you can see over here, okay, aap yaha par dekh sakte hai, guys, there are three nodes. Okay, we have identified the node. This is the first node. This is the second node and this is the node but the voltage the this node is connected from the positive voltage of this battery okay and this is the node okay which is known actually because this is connected with uh, the positive electrode of battery so plus E2 will be here at this node plus E2 is there and here plus E1 is there. So these are the known nodes. Okay. We know the voltage of this node. This is plus E1 and this is plus E2. We already know. But the remaining nodes, this is the number 1 node and this is the number 2 node. And we don't know the voltages of this node. And in between these nodes, what is connected? The third battery, third voltage source. DC voltage source is connected also uh, resistance is also connected in series okay and there will be the third node as you can see over here at the down below side okay this is the common node as you can see over here this is the common node so just ground this common node so this is the third node and all the voltage uh, at this node becomes zero V is equal to zero so V3 you can write this is V3, this is V1, voltage V1 at node 1, voltage V2 at node 2. And now start writing down the equations of node 1 and node 2. So how can we write? So uh, let, let's discuss. Okay, so this is the problem I have taken. Okay, this is the same problem I have taken where E1 is connected at left side plus minus in this fashion. E2 is connected, okay, like this. There are resistances and in between two nodes, first and second, or you can also take the node A, node B. And there is a another battery connected like this. Okay, so you can take at node A. So you can take at node A, you can write down the equation, take all the outgoing currents. Suppose I1 in this branch current i4 in this branch current and i2 in this branch current so guys 
you can take minus i1 minus i4 minus i2 is equal to 0 minus y minus because they are outgoing currents they are leaving the node and that's why we have uh, written over here minus and also it can be written as plus i1 plus i4 plus i2 is equal to 0 okay so only one time you need to do this okay not uh, every time only one time you can write down the equations like this and also you can write down directly the voltage equation okay the voltage equation the node equation you can directly note it down write it down like this okay no need to write down this equation okay so now see here so you already know now the all the equations the all the equation uh, of this node will start from va and all the uh, batteries will be subtracted from this node so start from here node 1 okay node a so va in this branch c at the left side va minus e1 divided by the resistance r1 then i4 what is i4 va divided by r4 in the middle branch the current i4 is in the middle branch and then at the right side you can see over here write va minus minus e3 because minus is at the left side plus is at the right side so va minus minus e3 minus vb divided by r2 as you can see over here this is the first equation va minus minus e3 minus vb divided by r2 so it will become like this Okay, simplify the equation so it will become like this at last VA in bracket 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R4 plus 1 upon R2 minus E1 upon R1 minus VB upon R2 plus E3 upon R2 is equal to 0. So you can solve by yourself and see at node B. Okay, so see the equation at node B again take all the outgoing currents okay, from this node and you can directly put the equation like this. So at the left side, see here. So VB minus E3. This time because the plus electrode at the right side. So VB minus E3 minus VA divided by R2. Okay, it can be written as like this. And in this branch, VB by R5. And at right side, VB minus E2 by R R3. So, the equation will become like this, okay, you simplify the equation and it will become VB in bracket 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R5 plus 1 upon R3 minus E3 by R2 minus VA by R2 minus E2 by R3. So, guys, now you can solve it by yourself and got the answer, okay. So, guys, now this is the problem as you can see over uh, your screen this is the problem it is uh, the circuit is given over here now guys we have to solve and get the answer okay so see here there is a battery of 6 volt at the left side at the right side 10 volt and there is also a battery so this is this belongs to case number second what we already uh, mm -hmm. learned and there is a battery voltage source of 5 volt already connected between two nodes between A and B. So now you can directly apply the equation. Okay, like this. Okay, so you can apply. So there will be two nodes and there will be two node equations at A and at B. So guys, just write down the equation like this and it will be like this. VA in bracket 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 minus 6 upon 6 minus v, v by 2 plus 5 by 2 equal to 0 and the equation will be like this. So you can solve it for yourself by yourself and at node B the equation will become okay. So I am just uh, how to solve it I am uh, telling once again. So uh, write down the equation VA okay Con concentrate at node O node A. So VA minus 6 divided by this resistance okay this resistance then plus va divided by 3 plus va minus minus e3 minus vb divided by 2 so this will be the equation of node a and what is the equation of node b so here vb 
is there so write down vb minus e3 minus va divided by 2 plus vb by r4 and plus vb minus e2 which is 10 divided by 4 and now so there are two equations guys now you can solve two equations okay and you will get the answer uh, of voltage va and vb okay so these these are the answer you can check whether it is correct or not va comes va uh, v 4 by 3 volt and vb comes 17 by 3 volt so guys that's it for today and we will meet in our new video tutorial session of bwe class so guys till then goodbye